I'm curious about like how does it the the multilingual brain difference from the monolingual brain in that language is really done like all over the brain. Hmm. Oh, it's all over. Uh, yeah, especially when you're talking about meanings. So meanings of words and things, those activate areas all over the brain. Hmm. So for most people, uh, there are two major language centers that people talk about them, and that's Broca's area and Wernicke's area. Wernicke's area might be a hub for like semantic processing, but it's also involved in other stuff. So it's way more complicated than that. But we'll just stick with that for now. Yeah. And then Broca is a hub for syntactic stuff, grammatical things. Mm. If you learn two languages as a kid mm -hmm. and you become highly proficient in both of them, there's overlapping activation for both languages in those in both of those two areas. Interesting. But if you learn a second language as an adult, there's overlap still in the meaning section in Wernicke's area, but Broca's area, there's non-overlapping activation. So it's still in that same small part of the brain, hmm. but they don't overlap. The resources that you use in your brain are shared if you learn them uh, younger. Hey, now, real quick. Sorry, 